What's up guys? I have had this video in archives for a very long time. I'm not sure why I didn't release it. Um, but anyways, I'm going to release it now. However, uh, there's an old voiceover that I did with a much younger looking tailor actually. Didn't have the beard, had the short hair, got a bit longer hair now. Um, I'm going to give a new and improved voiceover to this video but I'm gonna use a lot of the original clips. And this video, a little bit of a story, I'm just gonna tell a nice little story today. This video is about when I was a long haul truck driver for five days. Now, as we all know, year, it seems like a long time ago now, but COVID kind of ruined a lot of people's lives, me included. Um, if you were curious what I did during COVID, I had the rug ripped out from underneath me. And uh, of course, cruise ships did not come into Victoria. So I was off work for a couple of years. Luckily at the time I was living in my minivan. So my expenses were extremely low financially. I uh, didn't need a lot of money to survive. But there was always one job that I wanted to try. There was always one job kind of like the excavator where from a very young age, I just wanted to get in a semi truck with a sleeper in the back. And so I thought, hey, Truck driving is still happening while COVID happens. People need their toilet paper. And so why don't I go get a job truck, uh, uh, long haul truck driving and then I'll get to sleep in a sleeper. And I think the funniest part about this whole thing is that not many people would picture themselves going from their home to sleeping in a semi as an upgrade ever. However, at the time I was living in my minivan, so going to, <laughs> to uh, live in a much bigger space in a semi was an actual massive upgrade for me. It had a microwave in there. Did it have a microwave? Oh geez, I forget. I think in some of the pictures it shows a microwave. I don't know if it was hooked up though. I never used it. It had a fridge um, and it had a, a Wabasto heater. So like when it was super cold, I just like press a little button and I'm super cozy in there. Like the, it heats up really, really fast, which my van did not have. I froze my butt off during the nighttime. So what was I hauling? I was hauling steel. I had a flat deck behind me. I was hauling steel. Uh, essentially, a lot of the runs were from Calgary to Vancouver, Vancouver to Calgary. The funniest part about it is that my first run was actually from Calgary to Victoria. So, so uh, the company that I worked for, I was in Salmon Arm, and so I, which is in, in the interior of British Columbia. So I drove my van over there. I got the job and they said, hey, we got a truck and a load for you in Calgary. I went to Calgary and then they said, oh, by the way, this load is going to Victoria. Do you know where this is? And I'm like, I just came from Victoria. So it's kind of funny. I got to drive from Calgary all the way back to Victoria to my home town. It was an incredible experience. I got to do it. First of all, I got to drive a cool truck, nice Peterbilt truck. I got to sleep in the sleeper. I got to see what that lifestyle was all about but I didn't enjoy long haul truck driving at all. I much rather enjoy city stuff in town. I did not like the idea of, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but driving for 13 hours a day. Like that's something that sounds so stupid to say, long haul truck driving. And I didn't like the long driving part, but I just had never experienced that amount of driving in a day. It just was not, I hated that part. And it was also going up and over the Rocky Mountains. And so it's not like just sit back, relax, and, and not even think about anything. It's constantly shifting gears, constantly changing gears, going up, going down. And then, da 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 da, your shift comes to an end and you are still in the truck. Like you're in a crappy truck stop, and maybe some of them are nice, but crappy truck stop with crappy food, with a shower that everybody uses, and the majority, anyways, for my five days of experience, the majority of people just stay in their trucks and just, that's it. You're just around that truck 24 hours a day. Even though you're off work, it's not like you can just like, okay, I'm gonna go hang out with some friends. I remember one night I just had the truck with no trailer and uh, I was gonna pick up the trailer the next day. And so I just drove into like some parking lot and I shut the truck down and, and, and put the curtain around. And then I turned the little, it was kind of cold, not too cold, but kind of cold. So I turned the Wabasto heater on and I was sitting there with my laptop watching a movie, had some snacks in the fridge. And that one moment made it all worth it. Like just that one moment of like, this has been a childhood dream of mine 
when I used to watch the trucks down the highway to be in the back of that sleeper. And they are super cozy. I mean, the bed's comfy. Lots of the time the, the, the walls are all padded around you. It's very, very cozy. And then I just wanna share the rest of this story because I, 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 I find it pretty cool. Once again, because COVID happened, I got to do a bunch of random jobs. Because the long haul truck driving did not work and it wasn't like I was forced to be there money wise because I was living in my van. So I was like, oh, you know, I talked to the boss. I said, I'm so sorry, this just isn't for me. I'm sorry to let you down like this, but you know, it is what it is. So then my next job was, it was really hard to get a job during COVID. Everyone shut their doors and everyone was just like not hiring at all, except a recycle place. Like, a, like the drives are, uh, you drive around on the right hand side of the vehicle and pick up those blue bins and put cardboard glass and uh, tins and plastic in. They were hiring. And so I got a job with them um, for a little bit until I was able, until some places started to open up. And then after that, I got a job at a, at a, uh, a cold storage a company, which it was a good job. I, I delivered groceries and I also delivered toilet paper. As you know, there was a huge toilet paper shortage. So a lot of the times I'd have like half my truck full of toilet paper, it was hilarious. And then to make a little bit more money on the side when I was uh, applying for a mortgage for this place, I got an Amazon job delivering Amazon packages. And then I saw Coca-Cola was hiring and Coca-Cola is a really good company and they pay really good. Um, although, and so I actually got a job with them as well. I had, by the, by the way, I had, I had nine truck driving jobs in two years. And I did the right thing. Every time I get on with a company, other than the long haul, I would at least give them a couple months of notice. Um, so I wasn't too much of an inconvenience to them. And I'd work my butt off. So they made money off of me, but I, will not stay somewhere I don't like to be. It's just not worth it. Life's too short, you could die tomorrow. I'm not gonna, you know, you're replaced just like this if you were to die. So I'm not gonna um, beat myself up too much about leaving these jobs. I did it the correct way that it didn't affect too many people. And then one of the last truck driving jobs I had, which I did for the longest period of time because I really enjoyed it. And if cruise ships never came back and I never got my old job back, this is what I would do. I worked for Sunbelt Rentals. I'm trying to think if I made a video saying that I was working for Sunbelt. But anyways, Sunbelt Rentals is a really good company. The, the people I worked with were fantastic. The pay is great, the way they treat you is great, and the training that they give you is fantastic. And the coolest part about it, oh yeah, I know when I talked about Sunbelt, was when I rented that excavator from them. Um, the coolest part about it was all this different equipment I got to drive. So in these pictures, I drove um, rollers, excavators, telehandlers, uh, boom lifts. We did a lot of boom lifts, uh, skid steers. Every piece of equipment you could ever think of is, is what I got to operate. And then uh, I, I drove a flat deck truck, so I would deliver. Um, oh, just looking at some of these pictures, I wanna go and operate some of this equipment right now. So anyways, that is what I did for the two years during COVID and uh, I thought I would share that story with you guys. And <laughs> I love reliving some of this stuff. And I know there's not many young people watching this channel. Well, younger, like, you know, just starting their careers, but uh, getting your class one um, and being able to drive truck and trailer, whatever you call it in the US, class A or whatever, um, is one of the best things I've done for my life is because I'll always have a job that pays 30 bucks an hour. Like no matter, I could get a job, I could get a different truck driving job for every week of the year and they all pay about 30 bucks an hour. So it's kind of nice to always know that you have a skill that you can always lean back on. But now COVID's gone and I have my dream job back that I'll be there until I'm 120 years old. And if my boss is watching this, I hope I get a raise because I am in it for the long run, okay? So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the story and I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep living that dream, take care. And uh, it's a super rainy day here today. So I am gonna be bundled inside. Although I'm gonna get my workout in. I don't know why I'm punching the camera, but I'm gonna get my workout in because I've been doing really well for the last couple of days. And uh, rain or shine, I'm getting it in. See you guys. Bye.